So finally, I bought a new television. It's the uh, cheapest Full HD TV. As you can see, it's a uh, 1080p resolution TV, uh, 32 inches in size, and it's the cheapest uh, Full HD TV that you can get from a, a, a reputed brand. So TCL is the brand over here, and uh, you can see the specifications uh, as to what the uh, what are the contents and all. Let me focus it over here. It contains the unit itself. Uh, the an audio cable stand user manual warranty card remote and two batteries for the remote so there is no wall mount I believe and uh, it's uh, it's made in India uh, and it, uh, though the company the brand is Chinese but it is sourced out of India uh, this is the model number 32 s5403 AF if I believe I believe uh, indicates a full HD TV that's the resolution if it's uh, 5403a then it, that's an HD resolution TV so you need to be aware of that and the price difference is minimal so ensure if you are buying this TV you go for the one with uh, which supports full HD and not the HD resolution TV so but the branding over here suggests that that it's an Android TV it's an Android 11 based TV edgeless design micro dimming and full HD and uh, power saving wise it is uh, it's got a one star annual energy consumption is 68 kilowatt hour per year and you can see the details of the mo the model number and the year as well being a smart tv it's got all the bells and whistles chromecast built in bluetooth enabled netflix installed youtube installed and prime video installed as well so uh, connectivity wise it should be pretty much up there uh, you know it's obviously not uh, the top of the line but uh, i was uh, uh, when i bought this tv uh, the only thing that was on my mind was the budget because uh, these t televisions be it uh, tcl or any other uh, marquee brand you know uh, that are available in the market uh, after two or three years they tend to go bad so investing a huge amount of money on on these televisions doesn't make sense so that's the reason why i went for the cheapest and you know specification wise decent so this has got full HD resolution and it's got it's a small smaller footprint at 32 inches but it uh, hopefully it would do the job and uh, I'm waiting for the technician to go ahead and uh, to come and install it for us I don't want to risk uh, you know uh, losing on warranty uh, if uh, because it's a pretty uh, simple thing to do uh, as far as installation is concerned we don't really need to wait for the technician but it's better to wait uh, go ahead and let them do uh, do the job just in case if it's a dead on arrival product so we'll wait for the installation and uh, installation guy to come up and uh, probably we'll do a small unboxing as well
हे मी नंतर काढून टाकू शकतो ना मला काय अग्रीमेंट्स वगैरे जे आहे ते नंतर टाकू नाही ते केल्याशिवाय पुढे प्रोसेस होत नाही ना ओके ठीक आहे Opening YouTube. Uh, this is the first look uh, uh, this is just an unboxing video probably at a later point of time i will go ahead and uh, create a new video explaining the uh, settings and all because there are a fair amount of settings this being an android tv you can go ahead and play with uh, different settings uh, uh, available within the menu first of all you would need to adjust the brightness because of the box i found that it was a bit too bright for my taste and uh, i had to go ahead and uh, uh, you know sort of uh, lessen the brightness and obviously there are um, uh, many modes which are available which you can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, make uh, you know depending on what the requirement is like if you are watching a movie or if you look uh, if you are watching some sort of sports you can set the mode accordingly but uh, that i'll explain to you at a later point of time for now i am pretty much happy with the overall uh, appearance of this uh, tv uh, it's a it's a full hd tv and uh, at this price point uh, drop dead uh, uh, drop bottom price point i couldn't have asked for any more you can ask me any questions if you have you know i haven't uh, you know i have directly hooked it up with my uh, internet router using an ethernet cable and i'm not using wifi uh, at the moment a wifi connection but you can you know obviously you uh, can go ahead and connect uh, uh, your wifi you can get it connected to the internet using wifi and uh, there are multiple hdmi inputs as well maybe that will be coming up at a later point in time if you have any questions do let me know in the questions for now i'm uh, quite happy with the performance uh, uh, the sound is okay it uh, the bass is missing uh, it isn't probably there but uh, from a uh, from a 32 inch footprint i believe it is fair enough because uh, you know, it is good enough and i'm uh, being a full hd tv that that was the main criteria that i was looking for not not an hd tv but a full hd tv so i'm happy with my purchase uh, if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below thank you and goodbye for now